In this video, we are going to be looking at six different types of angles. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. And before we look at six different types of angles, let's first look at what an angle is. So first, an angle is the space between two rays. When the two rays are sharing a common endpoint like these two rays so that will be the space between the two rays sharing a common endpoint and that is the angle and just before we start with our first angle let's just set a basic framework for all our angles so on this protractor you can draw a horizontal line and we are going to draw a vertical line and you can clearly see that this protractor has two different sets of numbers. The first set of numbers goes on the outside and the second set of numbers goes on the inside. So on the outside, we go clockwise. So you will start at zero, go clockwise until you reach 90 degrees and go further clockwise until you reach 180 degrees. So this is when you use the outer numbers. When you use the inner numbers, you start at the right with zero. Then you go counterclockwise until you reach 90 degrees and then further counterclockwise until you reach 180 degrees. And for this video, I'm going to use this as a framework. I'm going to use the inner numbers and go counterclockwise to show you all the different types of angles. So like we said, an angle is the space between two rays sharing a common endpoint. So we need our two rays. So first I have my purple ray and then on top of my purple ray, I'll have my green ray. And the first angle I'm going to look at is the acute angle. And an acute angle is between zero and 90 degrees. So if I rotate my green ray anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, I'm going to form an angle. And this is an acute angle. This angle is between zero and 90 degrees. Let's take that green ray and rotate it even further. Now we have a new angle, but this angle is also still between zero and 90 degrees. So this is still an acute angle. Now let's rotate this ray even further until we reach 90 degrees. Now this angle is not between zero and 90 degrees. It is exactly 90 degrees. And this is a right angle. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And we always indicate that an angle is a right angle with the square between the two lines. So this is a right angle and a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Now I take the ray and rotate it further. Now the angle is bigger than 90 degrees. And this type of angle is called an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So bigger than 90 degrees and smaller than 180 degrees. So this will also be an obtuse angle. Now let's rotate this ray even further until our two rays point in exactly opposite directions and it looks like it forms a straight line. This type of angle is called a straight angle and a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. Now I'm going to take this framework and make it a bit smaller so that our ray can rotate even further. So what if our angle is bigger than 180 degrees? This is called a reflex angle. And a reflex angle is bigger than 180 degrees, but smaller than 360 degrees. So this will also be a reflex angle. And this angle is also a reflex angle. But what if I rotate my ray even further so that our two rays are on top of each other again? Now this ray made a complete rotation and this angle is called a revolution angle. A revolution angle is exactly 360 degrees. But you will hear that others refer to this angle also as a full rotation angle 
or a complete angle but it is exactly the same angle it's a 360 degree angle so just like in all my other videos there will be a worksheet with a memo in the description box below you can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet with a memo and if you haven't already and this video helped you please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and then i'll see you in the next video goodbye